<laughs> okay. I am to use the pepper. The weirdest dude ever. <laughs> You wizard prick, where are ya? Big, certainly, but I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Oh, well, alrighty then. Hmm. Finally! <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Yeah, I figured. Oh, but I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Roper Clax. And you would be? Uh. Sure, what the April hell? April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. Oh. But the kitten has manners. How? Precious. How very precious. I am tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my demonic children. Gross. But no. It will be more fun to destroy you. Why'd you trap Why the wind? did you trap the wind? That, that one just doesn't make Why any sense. does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Yeah, you really Because did. I can, little girl. Because I can. And because of who I am. Because I am hungry. And because the time is right. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut I your pretty it. little mouth. I will devour you. I will... <clears throat> Gross. But we must not lose our self-control, must we? No, we must not. Okay, now what about Why the... did you turn those people into stone? <clears throat> questions, questions, questions. I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child. Hey. Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. Too stupid! What? What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty, their tears so... Salty. Oh man, you. You're a real shit, Clax. That's one way to put it. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> what are you, five? Alright, well, I've had enough of you. Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Ha! Cliches. Is that the best you can do? Eh. Watch me. Yes. And you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. I even own their souls now. And they will feed me and keep me strong for as long as I need them. How hmm. original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, how precious. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? 
see. I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now, do you think you could defeat me? Yeah, well, I can pull a rabbit out of a hat. How about a proper challenge? How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> what, what do you mean by a proper challenge? I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of help. But of course, you cannot defeat I mean, me with magic. Isn't it kind that of the same thing? I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? I guess it depends on your That's not a challenge. That's a walkover. <clears throat> if we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me. I know that. But you intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. Go on then, little girl. Wish blah blah blah. Alright. You Yep. Ha. Too bad I can't. I challenge you to a contest of simple arithmetic. Using Too only I can't use this the flute on petty them. little device against your supreme Just intellectual. Guitar hero battle. Powers. Er, flute hero Give battle. Give me your best shot, but after this. I will take your soul and trap you in stone for all eternity. Uh huh. Sounds good to me. Okay. Here's one. Forty-nine times eleven. Forty-nine times eleven what? That's it. Forty times. Numbers. Time. Okay. Think of apples and oranges. Forty-nine apples times eleven oranges. Forty-nine times eleven. Let's see. Carry the one over, divide by three. What to do with that file? <clears throat> no, forget that one. So that leaves us with... Nine! Aha! <laughs> Wrong. It's five hundred and thirty-nine. That was an easy one, Clax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. I'll give you an even easier one this time. Six hundred and three divided by three. Ooh, Don't expect you to underestimate that. my powers, little girl. Five thousand eight hundred and sixty-seven point two point three. Aha. Um, no. Way off, buddy. It's two hundred and one. Sorry. You lose. Give me that thing. How can I find Ooh. that book he's got? This is <coughs> intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You enjoy that calculator, buddy. Hey, my calculator. I gotta be honest, I didn't know I could do that. Well, this is interesting. And I always thought math was such a waste of time. Yep, this game has proven me wrong. Can I pick up the calculator? I guess not. All right, where is this? Oh, that's a skull. It's a big old skull with a weird blue light inside. Let's go touch it. See what happens. It's a vial. It's a bottle containing a blue liquid.
apparently there's a lot of elixirs we should take. So, let's take them. Something else there is here. There's a cauldron, apparently. There's something behind the curtain. Clever fellow, that Roper Clax. Who'd think to look there? <clears throat> Sorry, did did you pick it up? No, you didn't. Okay. Uh... Oh, there it is. Yeah, I see it. There's the white vial. Another one. Got a cauldron. Oh. Well, that ain't good. It's a tap used for emptying the contents of the pot into a container. Eesh. And here's the yellow flask. Else we got here that we can explore. Empty vials. Okay. <coughs> it's a crystal ball with tiny specks of light flitting back and forth inside. This must be where Clax has trapped the souls of all those unfortunate people. Okay then. Okay then. Apparently, we're to scratch and sniff. Oh, okay then. I can hear a distant tingling sound like crystal bells. It smells hard to define. Sharp, decisive, earthy. It feels cool to the touch, like ice. Okay. That's interesting. Um I guess this is the next one. It has the texture of thin strands of hair. Ugh. I mean I, I can read what uh they are they have included it in the walkthrough but come on this is stuff we gotta gotta do it smells like pearls of morning dew it smells like pearls of morning dew i can hear the rustling of tiny legs that was rustling of tiny legs that's interesting it feels moist and light Fluffy almost. Mm, okay. <laughs> it smells like ozone. It smells like ozone. It sounds like distant thunder. Huh. What does this do? Oh, okay. Um, all right. So yellow is supposed to be a butterfly. It feels soft like satin <laughs> and very fragile. Here, let me read what each color is. So white is basically clouds. Uh, green is spider webs or spider legs in this case. So spiders in general. Uh, blue is, according to this, sharp claws. And this is butterfly. <laughs> Didn't know you could put that in the bottle. Well, I mean, I know you could, like but... smells like fresh flowers. Not like this. So this is supposed to be more like summer, then. It sounds like the like... rapid flapping of fragile wings. I like, that sounded more like a helicopter, but... Hey, whatever. So green, blue, white, yellow. All right, then. Um, 